I'm definitely far from the biggest fan of the Ball family. I think his dad, LeVar, is an absolute troll. I've said Lonzo is the dictionary definition of mediocre in terms of a starting point guard, so I was definitely not predisposed to really loving LaMelo Ball. But I'll tell you what, uh, remember, the son shouldn't be punished for the sins of the father, and just like Leangelo ended up being the worst of the three, uh, there's a pretty good chance that LaMelo might be the best of the three by a long shot. So just because his brother ended up being, you know, just a solid NBA player doesn't mean that this kid isn't the real deal. So important to challenge our biases, our, you know, inherent thinking, and see, is LaMelo really the real deal? Is he legit? Let me tell you why in this video. I think he is. I think he's right now the best player I've seen in this draft. Uh, why I see a lot of Luka Doncic in him, to be honest, and why you know I certainly think he has a chance to be a superstar at the next level. Let's dive into the film. First of all, the basketball IQ, the thing that really can't be taught. You hear a lot of people say things like point guards are, uh, you know, born that way, not really developed. LaMelo certainly seems to have that to him. He is just a tremendously high IQ playmaker. Today's NBA, you're going to see 50 to 60 spread pick and rolls run every single time almost down the floor. We got a big diving, the other big popping, and it's the point guard's job. Pick it apart, read the coverage, make a play like you see Luka do with Kleber, with Porzingis, with those bigs in Dallas. LaMelo is a similar floor general. He also, like Lonzo, is going to be fun to play with. A lot of those really quick hit-ahead passes in transition. Always seeing the game. Again, super unselfish when it comes to making the right play, making plays for his teammates. Again, just a natural pick-and-roll maestro. Delivers the ball on time, on target, right in shooters' pockets, exactly where it needs to be placed. I watched a lot of his film overall. As you can see, though, all this film, is just from this one triple-double game against a pretty solid team with Scott Machado, you know, a G League superstar in the NBL. So, again, you got to take it with a grain of salt. It's not NBA competition, obviously, but these are all professional athletes that he's going against as a young kid. And, again, certainly had a target on his back, certainly made mistakes as a kid, but he came out in this league and really played really well. On the switch here, look at him recognize quickly the defender fronting in the post, lofting that over the top. He's got great touch on his passes. Again, things that you can't just really teach. Look at this one in transition, kind of pausing with the ball in his right hand, seeing again the defender on the wrong side, and the angle for him to just loft that beautifully over the top, drop it right in the perfect area for the big who, again, doesn't reward him with the assist, but LaMelo consistently, time and time again, is going to make the right read almost every time down the floor, like Luka, like the elite floor generals in the NBA. Look at him here, attack his man with a nice handle, obviously, that he has left to right, crossover, get by his man, and then read as the big man steps up to help right here. That's going to open up the big in the dunker spot who, again, doesn't reward him with the assist, but a phenomenal pass by LaMelo Ball. This is, again, the NBA today. Spread, pick and roll, big diving, other three, all spacing. If you have this ability to get up in the air, which he certainly will with you know his best advantage with his 6'7", 6'8", size, significantly taller than Lonzo, able to get up in the air, get over the defense, read the defense, leave these lob passes up at the rim for the dunking rolling fives to finish in the NBA. It's got the pocket pass too, obviously. Great job here putting it perfectly in that pocket in overtime in a tight, great finish. Look at this one again. Situational basketball early overtime, reading the Laps in defensive coverage, communication, two on the ball, pop, find that pop three, perfect pass. Again, on time, on target, super fun to play with, super good floor general. Again, is going to get guys so many open shots. Similar to Ja, again, similar to Luka, he is going to be super fun to play with, super fun to watch at the next level. Look at him here. Again, you're reading this low man who's coming in just a little bit to tag on the pick and roll as LaMelo skips that pass, crosses body with his right hand, 
in the shot pocket for a huge overtime three. Other thing he does well, changing his speeds. Not the fastest guy in the world, but he does a really good job going from slow to fast, using his uh, change of pace as his advantage. Again, you know, he's not John Wall. He's not freakish speed, but to me, looks a lot faster than Lonzo, a lot faster than Luka, obviously, who you saw how much his lack of speed has hurt him in the NBA. Yeah, right. So, LaMelo, again, he's just a master manipulator of his pace, of his change of speeds, and he has a killer NBA move already. This little hezzy dribble, big lifts up just for a second, stands up, and then he's by you. He's got a big-time hesitation dribble. You see it again here, just enough for the big to lift up, and then he's a good finisher at the basket with both hands. Similar type thing here out of this stack pick and roll. Again, kind of hesitates a little bit. Coming off, makes this defender freeze, end up going out with the shooter, and then Lamelo's going to push the ball through with his left hand and finish. Again, another advantage, 6'7", having that size, athletic, good finisher, able to get to the rim for those dunks that, again, Lonzo can't get to as frequently. You see him coming off here, a drag, again, gets the switch. Looks like, again, he's picking the ball up, he's rising up to shoot, defender relaxes, then he's by you. That Hezzy is filthy, absolutely filthy. This is all, again, the same game. Just, again, reading the coverage, manipulating his change of pace, looking like he's going to pass the ball out, he's going to pull it back out, so this defender has to get out of there, and as soon as he does, LaMelo's turn in the corner, again, attacking, great left-hand finish. His shot, obviously, more of a mixed bag, will be a huge factor, and if he really is a superstar at the next level, but mechanically, it does look decent. You know, obviously, really varies at times from shot to shot, but his spot up, you know, pretty basic here. He's got good follow-through, good extension, good rotation, good touch, does the basic fundamental things. It's more, you know, when he complicates things, which we'll get to later, but can he be a guy, again, like Luka, who might shoot 32 33%, but seems to kind of just have that clutch gene, you know, maybe being as part of like this Truman show of his life, being in the spotlight for the last six whatever years, huge, huge, big time shot maker, capable, not afraid of the moment, obviously very equipped and used to the spotlight. Off the dribble, again, a mixed bag here, you see pretty reliant on his upper body, not as good with his legs and his core, you know, a little bit leaning backwards at times, but good hustle to keep that one alive. Ends up getting an assist out of it. Here we're going to see, again, coming off a little angle pick and roll. This one looks pretty good. Again, when he gets to his spot, shot puts it a little bit, doesn't hold the release that well, but again, good touch, pretty good form for the most part. Here's where we get a little wild, a little kooky. Thinks he's Steph. Dame might drive coaches a little bit nuts at times with some of this stuff with the ridiculous leg kicks and crazy off-the-dribble moves. But you know what? Again, a decent amount of them go in. So I don't know the tolerance of NBA coaches, how much they'll allow him to do this stuff to make these take these shots. And we'll certainly have to cut down on the wacky shot selection, the hard and wild type dribbling like this. You didn't need to do all that just to get to a simple step back. But again... The ball goes in. I don't really know how to describe it. I don't know exactly how, but he tends to make, you know, enough of these shots. Again, it's it's simple things. It's the little things that have to be cleaned up. This is honestly one of the easier shots he takes. Maybe not the best shot selection, but this one, you know, would be a pretty simple shot if you're not completely fading away, falling backwards, off balance. Got to just stick that landing straight up, straight down. Simple off the dribble pull up. This one's going to look little bit better but again it's unconventional it's a little bit like a you know running push shot almost like a floater right but he gets to his spot he reads the pick and roll well and again it's two points is two point three points is three points however you do it you know his percentages aren't the best but I think he's going to be able to put the ball in the basket enough and more importantly just make a tremendous amount of plays for his teammates this is the stuff you got to cut out again too much bat 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 through the legs between the back, uh, behind the back, blah, 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 blah. Don't need to do all that just to get to a simple turnaround that ends up getting rejected anyway. Needs to improve his IQ shot selection in that regard. 
occasionally a little reckless with the ball, not super high turnover, but needs to cut out the uh, mind-boggling turnovers. This one in the NBA is going to be a charge, not a block, against a quicker and smarter NBA uh, big man. Defensively, uh, meh is what I would say first and foremost. He'll definitely be able to get some rebounds. Again, like Luka, with that good size, 6'7", 6'8", just naturally being around the basket, he'll be able to go up and get a lot of those. So expect him to be a high-volume rebounder. And then you see again here, just kind of, again, using that savvy, running up against the back of the big man, changing his speeds, allows him to get to the rim despite smoking the finish there. But you see, again, not without the best speed in the world, he still finds a way, gets to the rim a whole lot. This defensive possession, just a disaster mechanically all the way through. I don't know what the heck he's doing. He's still standing straight up, jumping towards the screen too early. You know, he knows what he has to do, just a question of is he willing to do it every single time. Again, abhorrent here, standing way too upright, easily blown by off the dribble. You know, not going to be an elite defender by any means in the NBA, but just can he competently guard the position? Certainly smart enough to do it. Sees the game. Guys that are see the game that well offensively tend to do it pretty well defensively too. Here he gets out in a hedge, again against Machado. This defender pulls the trigger, rotates over, so LaMelo peels off, ready to rotate to his, but then sees him get beat off the dribble, and then is there ready to help him. Again, high IQ, smart, certainly knows what needs to be done. But is he going to do it every time? Is he going to compete? Or is he going to get bullied at times? Again, certainly going to have a target on his back. Can't be undisciplined like this, lifting up in the trap, out of his zone, getting totally blown by, giving up corner threes. Does he have that consistent fire? I certainly don't expect him to be an all-NBA type defender, but he's got to at least lock in, know his job. He knows here he's the low man. He's responsible for getting this role. He doesn't see it at all in the corner. He's got to be there, take that lob away, take that finish away. Here you're going to see he does see it. He's going to kind of bait that same pass again, almost acting like he doesn't see it, but then he goes and gets it right when it's made. That's the IQ. That's what he can do, right? A lot of defense is positioning. ton of it is just wanting to hustle. Certainly capable of being at least decent there. Not going to be elite, but he can definitely guard you know, one through three, at least pretty competently at the next level. Is LaMelo legit? Again, I think so with his phenomenal playmaking. I think his shot will be good enough. I think he is a high-level basketball genius who's going to make tremendous plays for his teammates. Thanks for watching. Thumb up, subscribe, and if you enjoyed it, patreon.com slash Brian has a ton of bonus draft content coming soon, 30-plus bonus videos, and support Scout with Brian. Appreciate you guys watching.